Whether this is your first time or you've been here many times before, that first feeling of getting to Tofino, standing outside and just taking in everything, the ocean, the forest, the air, it's a feeling that's unlike anything else. I'll never forget that experience of just seeing how massive the trees are, how green the area is. And then, of course, the opportunity. Once you leave the dock here, there's so much to see. We have coastal black bears that come down to the intertidal zone. There's major sea lion colonies, killer whales, humpbacks. It's just a really magical, beautiful area. In Tofino, we have a long history of logging and of fishing, a bit of mining out in Clackwood Sound, but we're also in a place with a long and deep Indigenous history, a place where balance has been achieved in the way that people live. In the 80s and 90s, decisions were being made about extraction that people here couldn't live with. And knowing that a future of, of living in a logged landscape or a place where there was not the abundance of, of fish and wildlife that we have now was not the future that people here wanted for ourselves. And in the 90s, we had Canada's largest act of civil disobedience when people stood up here and they said, no, we want something different. And I think it's something that as people live here for longer and longer, they really begin to realize that this is something we have to share with the rest of the world. And that is around that, that connection to place, how we feel living here, and how important we understand that a healthy and whole environment is. This uh, area that we are in is known as Kalaikwit Sound, but the proper pronunciation is is Tlaukwet. And the uh, Tlaukwet have been the original stewards of uh, these lands here for uh, thousands of years. When the first Europeans arrived here, the population of our tribe was between seven to 10,000 people. And at the time, the land was very, very rich and it uh, sustained that many people just because of how people treated it. The term uh, Hishukish Tsawak it means that everything is connected. All things are one, like the rain and the snow up in the mountains, and how all those things from the top of the mountains connect us to the ocean. So, you know, that's where uh, uh, many of the teachings come from, are the laws of nature. And one of them was that Mother Nature will provide for our need, but not our greed. Uh, and, and leaving it, practicing that for our future generations was uh, very important. People in Tofino understand that the choices we make every day can impact the environment. And so you'll find a lot of people that are very conscious about the type of products they buy, where they come from, where they're made. We've got regulations in place now that limit the use of single-use plastic bags and of straws, and we're focusing now on takeout containers and on cups and, and everything that we can do to minimize the use of, of disposable items. A lot of the beaches and places out here are untouched, and as soon as you set foot on them, you're into ancient, ancient forests. And so any visitors to the area just have to be aware of treading lightly and leaving minimal footprint. And you'll get the same benefits and enjoyment out of this area that people have for thousands of years. Once you get away from the town or the dock, and you'll have a lot more opportunity to see our, you know, coastal black bears, a chance to see wild gray wolves, beautiful animals to see. 90% of the time they're going to move away from you. And of course, the last thing you want to do is interact with these animals or try and feed them in any way. Tofino is a very dog-friendly place, but we do ask that you take a few careful steps with your pet while you're here. And really at the root of this is being mindful about the impact of your pet on other people and on, on the environment. So we ask that your dogs not chase shorebirds. And we also ask that you pick up after your dog and make sure you deposit that in the right place. Tofino sits right on the edge of the Pacific Ocean. And so these large ocean swells travel all the way to the coast. So you need to be coast smart. 
it's a great idea to check the weather forecast beforehand and the tide forecast. Um, one of the key things we say out here is never turn your back on the ocean because there are intermittent larger swells that will come in and catch you by surprise. So even for a small downtown core like Tofino has, it is a busy place and it can often be difficult to find a place to park. So we highly recommend that you take our seasonal shuttle. You can leave the car or the RV back at the campground or the resort and use it as a free and easy way to get downtown. We're really glad that you've chosen Tofino as a place to spend some time. And we invite you to get to know us a little bit and learn why we love living here and why we want to protect and cherish this special place. Like my grandmother and my grandfather used to say about um, when you make uh, decisions based in respect of the creatures, the water, and all the environment here that we all have to live in, you'll find there'll not be many things that will go wrong. <laughs>